Hello everyone, this is Amit. Uh, in this video, we'll just quickly take a look at one of the questions that uh, the user asked in the comment section. So this was the question uh, by Mark, and he basically asked how about G-Code editor where all the XYZ commands are in different colors. And so G-Code is basically a computer uh, programming language for CNC machine. Like if you have a milling machine or a lathe or any other machine, uh, it can be, it, you can write a G-Code to instruct the machine to do a certain machining work. And so here is an example of, of a G code. Uh, mostly it is just X, Y coordinate system so that you know you basically instruct uh, the, the computer aided uh, machine to do certain thing for you. And so I was just wondering, it's, it's fairly easy to actually enable syntax highlighting in Notepad++. Uh, and so I looked up online and actually I did find, uh, uh, let me just bring it up here. <clears throat> So there is a, a G code syntax hi, uh, highlighting for Notepad++. Uh, so basically it's an XML file. And so you can easily bring that up into your Notepad++. And then you can use that to basically enable colors for your G code. Uh, you know, syntax highlighting actually helps to, to see through, you know, uh, your code uh, better. And we will see that. And so it's pretty simple and easy. All you have to do is you just download this XML file. So uh, I'm going to link this into the description of this video so you can check that out. So basically let's go to G code XML uh, and let's go to raw and then let's right click and save this. Now I have already uh, downloaded it. So I'm going to just overwrite it. So now we have uh, downloaded a G code XML uh, file. And so if I open notepad plus uh, plus, the way in which you can uh, enable a syntax highlighting for a specific uh, language is you go to language, uh, you go to user defined language, by the way, I'm sorry, I already have one, but I'll show you how to do that. Uh, go to define your language. And then you can manually do that, but we already have an XML file. So all you have to do is just import. So I'm going to click import and then just browse to the, the G code XML file that you just had. So I select that and click okay. Right. So it says import successful. Uh, and now from now on, actually I can just dock this and it will just become like a sidebar here. And so if I go to G code, now the reason why the color is not showing up is because it's .txt file, the extension of this. Uh, and if you look at this G code that we just actually uploaded, I'm sorry, there's so many, let me delete some of these. Yes, I'll just keep one, so remove. Remove, okay. All right, so if I go here, uh, if you look at the extension ext right here, it's basically is enabled for ANSI or G or TAP or G code extension, right? And so if I change this and you can actually rename the uh, the file right from here. So let's say G code, right? And you can see the moment I change this, uh, this file to .g code, uh, the syntax highlighting kicked in. And you can see now there's a different, uh, you know, instruction and there's a specific color for that. And so you should be able to use the syntax highlighting for X, Y, now, the question was different colors for X, Y, and Z. Uh, with this one, it doesn't, but at least it's, it's more uh, readable format. Uh, so if you want to make sure that you continue to use this, you just need to click Save As and just give a, a, some legible name. So I'm going to call it, yeah, G code files, for example. Right. Click OK. Now I can undock this and close this. And so now if I want to enable uh, G code syntax highlighting, all you have to do is go to language and you can see it's right here, G code files, okay? And so that's how you actually enable uh, the color or syntax highlighting for any G code right from Notepad++. Now there are other G code editor out there that can do the same, but this video was mainly just to use Notepad++ because if you are familiar with Notepad++, you can do all the other tricks and tips uh, that comes with Notepad++, all right? So I hope you, uh, like this video. If you did, just click on the like button. And if you like the content of this, uh, this particular uh, channel, then please consider subscribing. All right. Thank you.